Hi, my name is Julie Marie Carrier. I'm a number one national best-selling author of Girls Lead and a book called Be You to Full. I'm also grateful to be considered the top speaker for girls in America and have reached over a million girls and those who care about them in the last 10 years. Also, I'm all about positive TV, okay? I believe our girls deserve a better vision of success than a lot of the reality TV drama and trash that's out there. So I've also devoted a lot of my time to building positive TV programming for girls. And in fact, to prove that positive TV does work, I even got an Emmy nomination. So I gotta say girls, set those bars high. Know that you are a go-getter, a leader, an innovator, a risk taker, and girl, get out there and use your voice. We need you. All right, so many people are like, Julie, we see you speak on stage, and to call what you do a presentation doesn't do it justice. It's an interactive experience. Well, the reason it's interactive is because my background is actually in interactive education or neuroscience-based leadership education. In fact, it's what I did at the Pentagon when I was consulting for over four years. And so I bring that same innovative leadership-based neuroscience background to what I do on stages or what I do in my book. So I, I think it's really fascinating when you think about what are you called to do in your own life, Think about what brings you joy. Think about those moments in life where you just felt like the time passed so quickly, it's like it didn't even exist. And those are little hints on what you're meant to do. I'm all about leadership. I've always loved leadership. And so to be able to take my leadership background and pay it forward helping girls, both on stage but also in person, is an absolute privilege. So my day-to-day -day is very different depending on if I'm on tour or off tour. When I'm on a speaking tour, it's like you wake up, it's you know 5 or 6 a.m., get ready, like eat a healthy breakfast, do book signing, speak, uh, you know, have an event in the evening. It, it's really intense. And what's interesting in those times where I'm not on a tour, it's a lot of it is about self-care, making sure I get to the gym, making sure that I, I juice in the mornings, making sure that I take that time to journal, to decompress, to relax. Um, I think we always hear about, you know, go be a go-getter, work, work, work. We also have to have time to take care of ourselves, and that's a lesson I learned the hard way when I burnt out about six years ago because I was working too hard. So uh, my day-to-day -day really varies, but a big part of it is service, and another part of it is taking care of my energy. You know, many people, when they see me speak on stage, a lot of times it's for audiences of 5,000 or 10,000 people. They think, oh gosh, Julie's always had confidence and she's always been able to do all these amazing things. But the truth is it didn't start off that way. I actually struggled with a growth disorder in high school, a crippling anxiety. I dealt with some pretty serious challenges when I was younger. And, and so what I, I think is fascinating is when I was in that tough time, a speaker came into my school and brought this amazing message of you deserve the best and you can do whatever you put your mind to. And for whatever reason, at that point in time, I remember I was sitting on the fifth row, the bleachers hunched over on the high school you know, gymnasium um, bleacher section. I think it was, yeah, the fifth row. And I remember sitting up taller and thinking, you know what? That's right, I, I deserve to make the best choices that will help me live the best life. And so what I'm grateful is what started off as one moment when I was 14, fast forward to now, because of that one person inspiring me to pay it forward, I've been blessed to reach a million girls and those who care about them in the last 10 years. So not only that, doing positive television, best-selling books, basically if it's anything about girl empowerment, count me in. <laughs> So many people, especially you know, as a top speaker for girls, but also as someone who's considered the top female youth leadership speaker, I've got to tell you, we need more women out there in the youth leadership arena. I, a lot of times will speak at these large leadership conferences for teens, both young men and young women, and I'm the only female speaker they might have had in four or five years. And quite frankly, I find that very disappointing and very frustrating because I think both both young men and young women need to see leaders you know, of all different backgrounds represented, including women leaders. So if someone's interested in being a, a positive female leadership speaker or a speaker, I would say absolutely go for it and know that every single person has their own message. And some people think, oh, I haven't done enough or I haven't written a best-selling book or I don't travel all over the world. You know what, everyone starts somewhere. And my first speech, uh, way before I started working at the Pentagon was to a group of 12 girls 
uh, in a dance studio because I was so passionate and I, I just was starting to hone my message and the good news is I did get a standing ovation because there were no chairs in the room, okay? Like, everybody starts somewhere. So I think to compare ourselves to someone who's already in the end half of their journey isn't fair to you starting off right now. So I would say if you're interested in being a speaker or a movement leader or a world changer or an author, know that your message matters and you specifically have a purpose that's yours to fulfill and go for it.